today we're going to teach you some of the survival basics of social dancing. We're going to start with the sequence you just saw in rumba. So we're going to start off talking about the basic step, this very simple box step called such because it moves in a box shape. The good news is that the leader and the follower will both be doing the same steps, just at different times. So the leader will start off with their left foot free and they will step forward, side, together, and then back, side, together. It's four on the left, side, together, and then back on the right, side, together. The rhythm for this will be slow, quick, quick. Each slow count is two beats of music, each quick count is one. So we will have slow, quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The follower's part is exactly the same, only starting backwards on the right foot. The follower will go back, side, together, forward, side, together. Back on the right, side, together, forward on the left, side, together. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the leader's part steps forward on the left, side, together, back on the right, side, together, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. The follower's part goes back on the right, side, together, forward on the left, side, together, back on the right, side, together, forward on the left, side, together, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, when we put this together, we're going to need to be connected to one another. So what we're going to do is the leader is going to take their right hand and place it on the follower's shoulder blade. The follower's left hand is going to go at the top of the arm, either on the top, the back, the side, wherever is comfortable. What's important is that the follower doesn't squeeze down on the arm. Now, on this other side here, the leader is going to have sort of the hitchhiker's thumb, and the follower is going to queen wing just a little bit like that, and then we're going to combine those two together. And we're going to hold this hand here equidistant between our heads so that it's not back here, it's not back here, it's not up here, it's not down here. We're just going to hold it gently where it sets at our eye level. Now, the leader is going to go ahead and start their step forward, and they're going to just take the follower with them. So we're going to step walk, side, together, walk, side, together. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Now one of the things that will make this easier is to add a little bit of rotation and be mindful of how you take our step. So when we step in rumba, we want to make sure that we're stepping really with the ball of the foot when we step forward or to the side. So as we take this step, we want to sort of step on the ball of the foot instead of saying heel toe it, giving us sort of a clunk clunk feeling. When we move, we're also going to be rotating gently to the left, which is going to make it feel a little more smooth and a little more rounded as we step through our paces. Now, it doesn't have any real prescribed degree of rotation, but I tend to think of wall, corner, wall, corner, which makes it nice and gentle.
talk about the fifth position breaks. The fifth position breaks take our slow step to the side, and then the free foot crosses behind, and you put your weight back into it, and then replace your weight forward. And then we step to the side, the free foot crosses behind, you put your weight into it, and then step forward out of it. So it goes side, cross behind, replace, side, cross behind, replace, side, cross behind, replace. So now that we have our fifth position breaks, we are going to get into it. The leader is going to start off with the top of a box, or the first part of the box, and we're going to step forward, side, together, and then we're going to take ourselves to the side to start that first fifth position break. So with our partner, we have slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. To open up, as we just did, we're going to take our free hand here, and we're going to apply a little bit of pressure in. And then we're going to take our shoulder hand and apply a little bit of pressure to rotate, and that will signal to the follower that we're opening up. And then we pass to the other side and open up on the other side. And then we pass to the other side and we open up to the other side. We can do this as many times as we want as long as it is an odd number. So now we're going to talk about getting out of this. We're going to do what's called a fifth position recovery turn. So as we are getting into our fifth positions, and we're stepping aside, here's one, here's two, here's three, we're going to do a fifth position recovery to bring our follower back to us. So when we're doing the fifth position recovery turn, all of the magic happens in the follower's position. When the follower is doing the final fifth position rock, they step to the side, they cross behind, and then they're going to step forward and turn to face their partner, and then step back into the slow of the basic. For the leader, when we lead the fifth position recovery, what we are giving is a little bit of extra pressure on the right hand into the shoulder blade. So what we're doing is curling our follower around back to us as we step forward. So we are stepping side, the final fifth position, bring back to us, and then step forward into the top of the box. Partner up, I'm 
just going to rotate 45 degrees to the outside, and I'm going to step forward outside of my partner for quick, quick. Then I'm going to step side, rotate 45 degrees again, quick, quick. Side, rotate, quick, quick. Side, rotate, quick, quick. Now when we do the parallel rocks, we're going to do these an even number of times as opposed to the fifth position's odd number of times. So when we do this, we will be ending on the left side, that left rock. And to get out of it, we are simply going to step backwards into our basic step. So leaders, when you're stepping out, you're going to do your final step to the side and your final rock on the left hand side, and then you're going to step back. So you're going to step side, rock, replace, you're going to step straight back for slow, side together. So for the followers, you're going to take your final step to the side for slow, you're going to cross behind, and you're going to feel the leader as you rock forward, bring you forward onto your step for slow, and then side together for the basic. The leader steps, stepping into the parallel rocks. We'll start forward on the left for slow, side together to finish the first half of the basic. And then we step to the side for slow, rotate and step forward for quick, quick. Rotate, step side, rotate, step forward and back for quick, quick. Side, quick, quick, side. For the last time, step forward and back and then step straight back, side together to get out of it. Followers will be stepping out of the basic, going back on the right for slow, side together. The leader brings them to the side for slow, rotates, and sets the follower back and forward, and then side, and then back, and then forward, and then side, back, forward, side, back, forward, and then the leader will apply pressure and bring the follower forward and then side together to get back into the basic.
walk around turn. This will happen as the leader is stepping to the left and the follower is stepping to the right. So we will start off with the leader's left hand and the follower's right hand connected. We are going to step side. The hand is going to go up just enough for the follower to get under. The follower is going to step through, swivel around, and then side to reconnect with the leader. And then we are going to do another fifth position recovery step to get back to the basic. Now, as the follower is doing this, the leader is going to be stepping side and backing away in order to give the follower's shoulder and elbow enough room to get through. For the walk around turn, the follower will step to the side, will swivel to the right, step through, swivel around 180 degrees, replace their weight forward, swivel back to their partner, and step side. The rhythm for this is going to be slow, quick, quick, slow. For the leaders, you will be stepping to the side for slow. You're going to rock back for quick, replace your weight forward for quick, and then step side for slow to reconnect with your partner.